Chapter 11, Pharmacology. Learning objectives, differentiate between pharmacology and pharmacotherapy. Discuss the role of nutrition therapy and pharmacotherapy. Describe the common mechanisms for drug action. Identify the various administrative routes of drugs. Explain the processes involved in the absorption of drugs and the movement of drugs throughout the body to its target sites. Understand factors that impact the metabolism of drugs and how they are eliminated from the body. Identify potential alterations in each pharmacokinetic phase. Discuss the role of nutrition on drug action from dissolution to excretion. Understand the role of drugs on nutrient ingestion, absorption, metabolism, and excretion. Identify which populations are at ri increased risk of improper or inadequate pharmacokinetics. Recognize the importance of nutrition assessment as a tool for evaluating patients who might be at risk for drug nutrient interactions. Identify what factors practitioners should examine and evaluate during the assessment. Identify various folk remedies, vitamin and mineral supplements and their common use and potential side effects. The use of drugs have been a significant component of medical care since ancient times. Historically, drugs were available without a prescription and alcohol, cocaine, marijuana, and opium were common components of drugs. The Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906, along with the subsequent Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act enacted in 1938, began government governing regulation for drugs in the United States through the Food and Drug Administration. As medical care has advanced, so has the development of pharmacotherapy. Today, more than 75% of all physician visits include a written prescription with over 3 million drugs ordered in 2016. Pharmacotherapy is defined as the use of drugs for treatment of disease and health maintenance. A medical drug or medicine is defined as a chemical used for diagnosis, prevention, treatment of symptoms, or cure of disease. Drugs can be classified by structure or ph pharmacological action. Many drugs require a physician prescription, while others are classified as over-the-counter OTC medication, not requiring a prescription. Complementary health approaches in the term that the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health recommends to describe the use of non-mainstream health practices. Some of these may include the use of non-vitamins, non-mineral, dietary supplements such as herbs and botanicals. In 2002, approximately 17% of adults and 6% of children reported using complementary health approaches. The most commonly used are listed in table 11.1 .1 on page 238. Pharmacology is the study of drugs, their properties, and their effects. Pharmacokinetics is the study of drug absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. An understanding of the basic principles of pharmacology Pharmacology is especially valuable for registered dietitian nutritionists as they work towards coordination and integration of nutrition therapy with pharmacotherapy. Lifestyle behavior changes in contemporary and alternative therapies are important elements in treatment for many conditions, but use of medication remains a cornerstone of most medical management. An understanding of all aspects of medical care, including pharmacotherapy, among practitioners should result in improved patient outcomes, maximize nutritional status, and decrease complications or risk of the prescribed medical care. Though nutrition's role in pharmacotherapy can be approached from several perspectives, it has traditionally been discussed within the context of the effect of nutrition on the action of the prescribed medication or the effect of the medication on an aspect of nutrition. Food medication interactions are defined as undesirable slash harmful interactions between food and over-the-counter medications, 
prescribed medications, herbals, botanicals, and or dietary supplements that diminishes, enhances, or alter effective nutrients and or medications. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics emphasize a collaborative model of healthcare that allows maximum benefit for the use of both pharmacotherapy and nutrition therapy. The most common mechanisms for drug action involve binding of drug to a specific receptor on the cell membrane, which initiates change in specific enzyme reactions. Drugs react with cellular receptor sites due to the three dimension shape as a lock and key might fit together. When this occurs, physiological functions are altered. Most drugs can interact with more than one cell receptor, which may account for various side effects of medication use. Some drug effects are independent of cellular receptors and are called nonspecific cellular responses. Ethanol and osmotic di diuretics act by this type of mechanism. Medications can alter Medications cause alterations in enzyme systems, either by stimulating induction or inhibiting them. Figure 1.1, an example of cellular receptor sites. Figure 11.2. Drugs can be administered in many ways. The administrative route depends on the chemical pro properties of the drug, the type of effect desired, and of course, patient characteristics that affect how the medication can be administered. The oral route of administration requires that the patient be able to swallow medication and that the slower rate of absorption of this administration method is acceptable. Sublingual administration means the drug is placed under the tongue or in the cheek. Routes of administration can be peritoneal, topical via the skin, mucosis, membranes, or through an inhalation, inhalation. Parental administration requires an injection into the body through the routes that are either subcutaneous, intradermal, intramuscular, intraperitoneal, or intravenous. Absorption of drug Medication involves several steps as the substance is transferred from the administrative sites. Absorptive mechanisms for drugs encompasses the same basic processes as those of the nutrients. The rate and effectiveness of absorption for drugs is dependent on several key factors. First, solubility of the medication determines where the GI tract the medication will dissolve and thus be absorbed. Dissolution or dissolving of the medication has to occur before absorption is successful. Insipidus are those substances added to formulations of medication that affect dissolution. Binders, lubricants, and coating agents decrease dissolution where detergent increases dissolution. The amount of time a medication is present in a specific portion of the GI tract, the pH of the portion of the GI tract and the surface area of the GI tract also affects absorption's capability. The most important chemical properties of medication related to drug absorption include the solubility of the drug in lipid or water and ionization of the medication. After absorption, distribution of drug occurs. Distribution is defined as the movement of the drug throughout the body to the target site where it can act. Distribution is variable and is affected by the circulation, the binding of the drug to proteins within the circulation, capillary permeability, the drug's solubility in water, and the binding of the drug to other tissues within the body. Overall, the greater the amount of the drug that binds to another substance, the smaller the amount of active or free drug within circu circulatory or storage tissues. A metabolized drug has been chemically altered. Drug metabolism is typically discussed in the context of phase one reaction and phase two 
where a second mo molecule is conjugated within the substrate from phase one. The GI tract and liver are the major sites for biotransformation, including oxidation, reduction, and hydrolysis. The GI tract serves as the first site of metabolism for orally administered drugs. Absorbed drugs are then delivered to the liver via the portal vein. Most drug biotransformation in the liver is accomplished by the hepatic enzyme system called the cytochrome 4 P450 mixed function oxidizes system. An inhibitor reacts with a specific enzyme by competing for its receptor site. A drug's delivery method can affect its metabolism. Drugs delivered directly into the bloodstream may differ in their onsite of peak plasma concentration and duration of action as compared to drugs delivered innerly, innerly like, like compared to drugs delivered innerly. Figure 11.3, therapeutic levels of drugs. After drugs are metabolized, the remaining compounds are eliminated from the body. There are exceptions. Some drugs can be excreted before they are metabolized. Most drugs are removed by either urinary or biliary excretion, but some can be excreted via the lungs or feces, depending on the chemical structure of the metabolite. It is important to be aware that some drugs can be excreted in breast milk, which means that a nursing infant will be exposed to them. In addition, patients who are taking drugs excreted via the salivary glands may complain of taste changes. No two people will react in the same way to any given medication. Altered health conditions, disease, and treatment can interrupt the normal GI absorption processes. A more common factor that may change the effectiveness of absorption is consumption of food simultaneously with medication. The presence of food stimulates normal digestion and absorption mechanisms, such as change in the rate of gastric emptying and the release of enzymes and hydrochloric acid. Vomiting and diarrhea can influence drug absorption by reducing the time available for solubility and dissolution. Disease or health conditions that interrupt normal transit time or surface area would decrease drug absorption. Drugs, nutrients, and other substances may also compete for the carriers needed for active transport across a cell membrane. Major factors that change distribution of a drug include variations in circulation, body size, and body composition, and protein binding of the medication. Age is also a major factor in how drugs are metabolized. Neonates, infants, and young children have vastly different levels of liver function and enzyme systems than adults do, which affect their reaction to different medications. Drug metabolism alterations may surface as either decreased effectiveness of some medications or toxicity symptoms. Genetic factors may also play a major role. Hereditary differences are often attributed to difference in genetic coding of metabolic enzyme systems. Gender differences are also apparent in metabolism for some drugs. One of the most common mechanisms for alteration of drug metabolism is concurrent use of other medications, which may interrupt enzyme systems and prevent clearance of metabolites. Urinary excretion of drugs can change as a result of numerous mechanisms. The pH of the urine has a direct effect on the type of drugs easily excreted. Nutritionally, different foods can affect the pH of the urine, though these effects are difficult to predict due to variations in digestion and metabolism. Finally, urinary excretion can be altered by changes in urinary flow rates or kidney function which may result from another medication or disease or injury or the aging process. Changes in the creatinine clearance significantly alter the effectiveness of medication. If an individual has renal insufficiency for any etiology, drug levels may be adjusted to ensure therapeutic levels. 
In order for oral drugs to be absorbed, dissolution of the medication is necessary. The pH of the stomach and the gastric emptying rate are two of the most important nutrition related factors impacting drug dissolution. Medications may require an acidic environment for dissolution. Any disease, injury, or surgery that affect oral intake or gastric function can affect dissolution of medication. Gastric surgical se sections or a diagnosis of gastroparesis can dramatically change the rate of gastric emptying as well as the amount of gastric secretion. Medication in liquid form are more easily dissolved than those in capsule or tablet form. The present of Presence of food, alcohol, or dietary supplements can interact with drugs in several important ways that interfere with drug action. If interactions with food increases absorption of medication, they increase the amount of available drug. In contrast, if absorption of medication is decreased by food, therapeutic levels may be achieved. Let me say it again. In contrast, if absorption of a medication is decreased by food, therapeutic levels may not be achieved. Some of the most important nutrient drug interactions fall into the category of metabolism changes. Research has identified several mechanisms. A summary of these findings is, in, is that in a general, some nutrients act whether as an inducer or inhibitor for metabolic enzyme systems. These actions can change drug effectiveness as well as produce toxic side effects which increase the potential for mor morbidity, morbidity or mortality. The potential for drug, nutrient drug interactions with anticoagulation therapy, a standard component of clinical care in prevention of stroke and heart attack provide an important illustration of how food interrupt drug metabolism. Vitamin K improves blood clotting. When food higher in vitamin K or vitamin K supplements are ingested during the same time period as Coumadin or Warfarin, a vitamin K antagonist, the amount of Warfarin needed is increased. The pH of the urine can ver vary widely in one of the most important concerns related to maintenance of consistent drug excretion. Variable urine pH can alter reabsorption of the drug, resulting in fluctuating therapeutic levels, dietary intake, kidney and respiratory function, acid-based balance, hydration status, and the presence of disease or infection can alter urinary pH. One only has to evaluate the possible side effect of a medication to understand their potential effect on nutrient ingestion. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, increased appetite, and decreased appetite are all common side effects that dra drastically affect dietary intake. Further complicating this situation is the fact that many individuals are prescribed numerous medications and the most older adults take multiple medications each day. Appetite and subsequent food ingestion can be affected by taste, smell, and saliva production. Many medications either increase or decrease saliva production or even alter the consistency. Other medications may actually cause abnormal taste perception. Increased appetite secondary to medications can result in unplanned weight gain. Any drug that affects GI function has the potential to interrupt nutrient absorption. This includes medications that cause side effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. Adequate and efficient nutrient absorption requires exposure to enzymes in the appropriate metabolic environment, adequate transient time, sufficient GI tract surface area, and any transporter necessary for absorption. Drugs interfere with met, uh, macronutrient vitamin and mineral metabolism. Example, corticosteroids increase the rate of glucogenesis resulting in hyperglycemia and increased nitrogen loss. 
Since most drug metabolites are excreted in urine, any drug that increases urinary output places the patient at risk for accelerated nutrient excretion as well. Any medication that affects renal function in a significant way, reducing reabsorption of nutrients, for instance, can also call ex it cause excessive loss of a nutrient in the urine. The older adult population represents one group with an exceptionally high risk for food medication interactions. There are several reasons. First, older individuals generally have a higher rate of chronic disease and are also therefore prescribed the largest number of medications. This sheer volume increases their risk. The use of over-the-counter medications and complementary medication compounds, the incidence of interactions. Polypharmacy, a term that is often associated with the older adult population is defined as administration of excessive drugs at one time or concurrent use of a large number of drugs, which increases the risk of interaction. The use of specialized nutrition support is another clinical measure that poses a higher risk for drug nutrient interactions. Two feedings have been documented to decrease absorption of some medications. Any use of prescribed drugs, over-the-counter medications, or contemporary treatments have been, has the potential to affect nutritional status, interfere with drug pharmacokinetics, and or alter drug metabolism. Nutrition assessment. Focus on factors that could affect absorption, distribution, metabolism, or excretion of drugs. Nutrition diagnosis. Food medication interactions. Interventions will center around modification of diet or medication to reduce risk. Last step is to determine monitoring and evaluation. Figure 11.4, nutrient assessment of food medication interactions. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics position regarding the integration of nutrition therapy and pharmacotherapy promotes a team approach and encourages active collaboration among registered dietitian nutritionists and other healthcare team members.